So, you want to start a YouTube channel. And I know that sounds really, at times, intimidating and, you know, overwhelming, but what I'm here to tell you is that starting a YouTube channel will be amazing for your business, brand, product, or service. Of course, when you're new to content creation, you're bound to make a lot of mistakes. And that's okay because at the end of the day, we're all still learning. So today, I'm gonna share with you five things I wish I knew before I started a YouTube channel. And of course, I really hope that you guys do really absorb these tips that I'm gonna be talking about in the next few minutes because I really do want to give you that caution and those things that I really did wish that I knew. So if you're new here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can keep getting more tips and tricks on marketing tactics and how to grow your business and widen your audience. So make sure to keep updated with all of our other videos because we do post a lot. And of course, just make sure you're hitting that notification bell so that you can be notified every time a new video comes out. If you want to get started the right way on YouTube, keep listening to the tips that I will be talking about now. Number one, I know it sounds so basic, but creating a good searchable name. I know that this sounds very interesting, but at the end of the day, you want to make sure that your name really exemplifies your brand and what you're trying to sell to your audience. Essentially, with a brand name, you do want to try and find some keywords that really do highlight what your brand is about and what your audience is going to search in the search tab. It can be very difficult choosing a name that really does suit you, but you do have two avenues that you can take and you can go forward with. The first avenue is actually including your own name and kind of like, you know, also partnered with what you're going to be talking about. At the end of the day, your name is so important to your brand and it really gives that hint of personalization and it really feels like your audience is talking to you and your platform. But of course, you know, if you do, you know, if you are releasing a product, you know, you're not going to name that product. Maybe if it's like a chapstick, you're not going to name the chapstick your name. I mean, you could, but you could also give it, you know, a classic name. It really is personal preference, but giving it a name that really kind of does stick to that niche can really help ensure that you are boosting your audience and engagement because you're picking a name that's searchable and you're picking a name that more people are inclined to look for. But regardless, both avenues can be great options and at the end of the day, you really want to pick something that you're going to enjoy because it's going to be the name that you eventually stick with in the future. So make sure it is a name that you really do enjoy. Number two is figuring out the videos that you will be creating. I know that YouTube is literally all about creating videos, but at the end of the day, a lot of mistakes that new users do is that they just post every kind of video under the sun. I mean, even if they're like trying to sell their cupcakes, they're gonna try to do a different challenge and then different this just to start building that channel. But that's exactly what you don't wanna do. You wanna figure out maybe even three types of different videos that you wanna start posting or different topics that you really wanna overarch in that umbrella of content that you're trying to promote and really just stick with that because um, like sometimes that content can get lost and sometimes you trying to do something that's really not your brand is gonna make you move backwards instead of forward. And in reality, you want your brand to grow and especially you want your audience to grow and and if you have a very specific niche, you want to make sure that that audience is growing with you and really enjoying your content alongside you. I mean, at the end of the day, let's say again, back to that cupcake business reference, if you have a cupcake business and then you're posting about race cars, just race cars, it is going to be a little bit jarring to your audience and your viewers on what exactly you're trying to promote within your brand. So again, just making sure that you're sticking to your niche and then once you do grow that really big audience, it's okay to venture out and try new things and try different challenges that it's not really your brand because 
you've already built that previous audience and they're already engaged and they're already hooked to your content. So just be, you know, keep that in mind and make sure that you are, you know, highlighting that once you start creating your videos. So number three, what audience you are trying to reach? I mean, this is something that I wish I knew, like, Finding that audience is so important because that audience is what is gonna drive the sales, it's what is gonna drive the engagement, it's what is gonna boost your, your audience and really find the people that are inclined to watch your videos. So really trying to pinpoint what kind of people you think would watch your videos is extremely important in building your brand. And once you figure out who your audience is, you will have so many more opportunities, you will have so many more sales because you're making sure that your content is geared towards that specific audience. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you can have variety. Variety is okay. You don't have to stick to a certain niche. But in the beginning, it is harder. It is a little bit harder to, you know, don't not to not stick to a niche because your videos will be a lot more scattered and you can't grow in that compartment so just making sure that once you find your audience based on the region the age the location the aesthetic then you can also aim that and figure out what social media platforms work for you so essentially once you find out your audience maybe your audience is found on LinkedIn or if they're an older audience or maybe your audience is young and maybe you've realized TikTok is the platform you want to use or Snapchat. Honestly, just finding that audience will really clarify a lot of things in your business and once you find that audience, you're good to go. So number four is really drawing some inspo from your favorite YouTubers. Again, I'm not saying to take your YouTube, your favorite YouTube your favorite YouTubers ideas, but definitely grab some inspo. There's nothing wrong with that because they probably also grabbed inspo from their favorite YouTubers as well. And honestly, finding out and really just like honing in on certain YouTubers that you enjoy will also help you craft your YouTube channel and craft your business and really trying to figure out what kind of channel you want to run. And sometimes it's really hard to find some YouTube videos ideas. so. Do some research, find out who your favorite YouTubers are, and figure out what kind of videos are they posting. And maybe let's say that if you have, if you're both doing you know, a marketing channel, maybe figuring out what kind of videos they make and seeing how well they did and kind of compare it back and forth with your videos and really just kind of figure out just to, just to get some ideas, you know, at the end of the day, just getting some inspo, drawing some inspo to just keep building that audience and figuring out you know, maybe your viewers really enjoy the same kind of content that their viewers enjoy. So don't be aware of that. There's space for everyone on YouTube and there's space for everyone to grow on the platform. So don't be worried about that. You'll figure it out. So the last one is how important consistency is. Consistency is so important. I mean, many people tend to post sporadically and it ends up hurting their business in the long run and they miss out on so many more opportunities to really grow your business, especially once you're starting to grab that attention from your audience. Consistency is key and I will repeat it many times because at the end of the day when you're consistent, you are giving the algorithm the chance to push out your content, which means it would widen your audience, boost your engagement, and skyrocket your sales. So please be consistent and of course, re repurpose that one piece of original content and use it and try to stretch it out as much as you can if it is hard for you to really be consistent with posting and being consistent with making new content. I mean, even scheduling some content to post can be really useful. Just really utilizing your resources because you want to be consistent and you want to keep that audience engaged. And that is how you can build a successful YouTube channel. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you're able to grab some inspiration and you're really able to, you know, get some of the tips and tricks that I said in this video and use it for your own channel so that you're able to grow you're able to see your business go to heights that you've never seen it before. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that you can keep updated with our rest of our videos and also just be informed on when our next posts are and everything like that, you know, through our TikTok, our website, our Instagram, and all of that. I hope that you know you start your own YouTube channel and you use that YouTube channel to grow your business, brand, product, or service, or page. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.